Hello there, my name is Chris Dutch, otherwise known as Dutchie, and this is Dutchie Spills the Tea. Hopefully not all over me. For episode one, I thought I'd introduce my videos with a simple retrospective. It'll give you an idea of my presentation style, and if you don't like it, well, you don't have to watch any more of my videos, do you? On to the main subject. It has been over 40 years to the day since Apple unleashed that productivity panacea, the Macintosh computer, upon the unsuspecting public. And my, how far we've come. Back then, booting up took an entire tea break. Storage was measured in kilobytes, and the internet was learning to crawl. And crawl it did, if you could ever get onto it. But alas, we didn't know any better. I certainly didn't, as I wasn't yet alive. I swear, in spite of all the grey hair. But cut to the 90s, however, and not only was I alive, we're suddenly all logging on to the information superhighway through dial-up modem connections with their characteristic banshee wail and killing the phone line, and from the sound of it, summoning the greater demons of hell. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Now the interwebs were just getting going. Email was the very height of communication, though surely it would never replace our prided postal service, and 30 minutes to download a photo seemed reasonable. We were living in the future. Then broadband, Wi-Fi, and eventually satellites and fibre sped things up just a tad. The millennium brought about dot-com fever, when bright young university chaps could get rich by dropping out. Oh, and obviously launching sites for pet supplies, books, or auctioning off your grandfather's things without his knowledge. Those were the days. They were the days of Friendster and MySpace, where MP3s were the very future of music, and asking Jeeves only created more questions and frustration in the days before you could just Google things. And I will bet that your Napster collection doesn't hold a candle to the quality of streaming these days. Now fast forward a little bit to the mobile revolution. Gone are the days of lugging around devices heavier than a sack of potatoes. Enter brick-like phones, then tiny phones, then flip phones, then media phones, polyphonic ringtones, lost vowels in SMS, and then blackberries for the business types before the other pie fruit company then said enough with all the buttons and unveiled the iPhone. Now we've got sleek little smartphones with more processing power than the computers that put man on the moon. We can video chat, order groceries, hail motorized carriages and settle pub arguments on the spot. Siri, how many feet are in a meter? Well, there's no need to store any more data in our heads anymore. The last decade has seen technology take over our lives completely. We've got bits of fit counting our steps, robot hoovers tidying up while we're out frequenting our local watering hole, and nanny cameras with artificial intelligence so we can chat with the pets. Alexa and her mates allow us to control things with our voice as if we're characters in a science fiction book. And we can store everything we ever create in the cloud. But don't you ever forget that time you left your iCloud open on your mum's iPad and popped to the loo for an impromptu photo session. Saucy. So, where does it go from here? Quantum computing could let mobiles perform calculations in seconds that would take today's best supercomputers years. My guess is that the biggest advance will be in robots with artificial intelligence near human levels, primarily so that we can have someone else to make the drinks on command without all the bothersome employment contracts. The future's not ours to see, as the poet said. But from mainframes to MacBooks, landlines to mobile phones, paper filofaxes to electronic calendars, it's been one wild ride living through this technological revolution. Even when the inevitable robot uprising occurs and they banish us former masters to nostalgic relic status, I'd say we came out ahead. Now, if you'll excuse me, my electrified tea kettle just made a computerized whistle. Isn't the future exciting? Chidio.